In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to fix this problem if the Logitech G Hub is not opening on your computer. So if you're trying to open this Logitech G Hub, but it's not opening and it's not running, then I will guide you through all the necessary steps in order to fix this problem. So follow this step very carefully. So how to fix Logitech G Hub not opening? So the first step you need to try, and a lot of people have found a solution, is close Logitech process. So just open Task Manager by placing by pressing ctr shift plus escape then close any process with logitech in the name especially the lg hub updater make sure to open task manager as admin and end the updater process so to open the task manager just press the windows key and search for task manager then just run as an administrator for the task manager and the task manager will open as an admin now look for the all apps that is associated with the lg hub which is logitech g hub so just make sure you end all the process so just right click on it and then end task then look for other apps which is associated with the lg hub then there is this g hub just make sure you end task and then just basically ensure all the apps which is listed here all are ended also make sure this lg hub update is also in task and all the apps which is associated with lg hub make sure you end all the task and after ending all the task for this app try to launch the lg logitech g hub app to see if it's working if it's not working then don't worry let's go to another step which is add g hub to the startup programs so sometimes if you don't have if you did it add g hub which is logitech logitech g hub to your startup programs you may be facing the issue for logitech g hub not opening so i'll leave the link in the description for this script so that you can follow it and copy easily so just copy this which is uh the startup programs for your pc just copy this path and then go to your pc go to this pc and then paste it here so just paste it on the startup programs and make sure the shortcut is pasted here so as you can see i've already add mine here on the starter programs to add yours if you don't have it just copy this shortcut copy it and then after copying it go to your file which is the startup programs and make sure you paste it here so after pasting it here try to relaunch the app to see if it can help you if you've tried to relaunch but but you're still facing the same problem for logitech g hub not opening then let's go to another step which is reinstall g hub so just uninstall the logitech g hub app and download and install the latest version from the logitech website if you have do so you have uninstalled logitech g hub but after uninstalling and you have downloaded the latest version from the logitech website but you're still facing the same problem for the logitech g hub not opening then let's go to another step which this will fix your problem so the Logitech customer support have provided a guideline in order to fix this issue. So make sure to follow these guidelines very carefully and you'll be able to fix this problem. First, uninstall GHub and then make sure none of the GHub components are running in the task manager. So first, uninstall GHub. To uninstall GHub, just go to search here on the Windows key bar, bar, bar and then go to uninstall program and then look for the g hub so the g hub can just found on the g section just look for the app so here is the logitech g hub just make sure it's uninstalled after uninstalling the lg hub make sure none of the g hub components are running in the task manager after ensuring none are running on the task manager just go to your program files so follow these steps as it has been listed here so this is from the logical logic customer support so make sure to follow it very carefully just go to your program files go to your program files on the c go to program files and then look for the lg hub so here in the lg hub just delete this folder after deleting it then go to another which is go to program data and delete lg folder so go to c and program data program data so 
the program data can be found see then program data here the program data so make sure the lg hub is deleted as well so delete the lg hub then follow again the next step which is go to c users username and then app data local and delete the lg hub folder so go to c users and then user so go to c then go to users and then go to user and then go to app data and then go to roaming and then make sure the g hub is also deleted as well so follow these steps very carefully also on the app data go to local and make sure the g hub is also deleted as well so here the lg hub so make sure it's deleted as well so follow these steps i have show you and then after deleting this then press the window key and then type regedit then click registry editor and delete the registry key so i have already located it on the regedit here the regedit which is registry editor and make sure you delete this key here which is starts with 521c so make sure you delete this key which is listed here 521c so make sure you delete this key just to delete this key on your registry just make sure you delete it here as it has been listed here just delete the registry key by going to software microsoft windows current version and install then make sure this key it is deleted here so it is very simple after deleting this key reboot the pc and reinstall ghub so after fall after deleting this key reinstall ghub and try to opening it to see if it can fix your problem so this has been provided by, by the logic logic tech customer support and a lot of people have found the solution so make sure you follow these steps which has been written here very carefully and i'll also leave the link in the description for this script so that you can copy it easily so make sure this key which is here it has been deleted which is 521c8 so make sure it is deleted which is found on your software which is on your local machine software microsoft windows current version then uninstall file then you can find it here so make sure it is deleted after deleting it you can be able to fix this problem for the logitech g hub not opening so make sure you follow these steps very carefully and if you found a solution just share on the comment section maybe if you fix it if you fixed it in other way which you have tried then thank you so much for watching and see you next time